Hey, what's up guys? It's Exumer talking to you here. And the event of Apple October's event had just ended and I couldn't be more excited. So Apple just announced a ton of new products, the M1 Pro and M1 X chips, and of course the MacBook Pros, but also they announced the new AirPods and Apple Music. So let's, let me tell you all about it. Let's just go. The event just ended and we got some new products. Apple Music was introduced with new features, just like voice playing. This voice playing enables you to buy Apple Music for cheaper, but only be able to use it with Siri. So you can only ask Siri to play playlists, for example, for a dinner party or for study or for sports. You cannot search for individual songs and you cannot choose individual songs. So this starts at 499 and I think it's a pretty, pretty good deal. In my opinion, this Apple Music plan is geared towards HomePod users because these HomePod users now Cannot, can use Spotify and other stuff on their phone, but can use Apple Music, which is even better on HomePod, for example, to, to ask for Siri to play some stuff. So I think it's a pr pretty good deal for people that use HomePod and have Apple, Apple ecosystem, but has Spotify. So only paying $4.99 for this plan is incredible and amazing. Then also Apple introduced for the first time ever HomePod mini colors. Yes, we got new colors for the HomePod mini. They start at the same price. We didn't get any update, no HomePod mini 2, but we got three new colors orange, blue, and yellow. These HomePod mini colors make them the HomePod mini still start at $9.99. You can choose them whatever you like. Now you have three more colors. I have a HomePod mini, space gray, by the way, and let me tell you, I love this device. It's very versatile, and I love to speak to Siri, to ask for stuff, play some music. It's very tiny, but it has a lot, a lot of power, and the sound is pretty great for this tiny of a speaker. Then Apple introduced something that I wasn't expecting. Leakers were telling us that we will see AirPods 3 on this new event. I was quite skeptical because Apple doesn't announce AirPods on events, only on press release. But today Apple just outdid themselves and they released the AirPods 3. These AirPods 3 feature a new redesign based on the AirPods Pro. This redesign doesn't fit tips just like the old AirPods Pro, but they fit adaptive EQ which enables AirPods to sound more true to life like the artist meant it, not basing on your ears. So this adaptive EQ adapts the HQ to your ear and to your shape of your ear, just like the AirPods Pro features. Also, it features more battery life, six hours of battery life on one charge, and the case provides 30 expected hours of battery life. To charge these AirPods, you have now MagSafe, which enables faster charging, 50% more faster. So now you can charge your AirPods even more faster through wireless charging and MagSafe, which is pretty incredible, and you can expect that on AirPods Pro. But that was it for the AirPods 3. It was a minor redesign, let me say, not minor, a huge redesign. The main product of this event was Apple Silicon. Apple unleashed two new chips. Yes, not one, two. The M1 Pro and the M1 Max. The M1 Pro features 10 core CPU, which eight high performance cores and two high efficiency cores. It is two times faster GPU performance than the M1 because it features 16 cores GPU and up to 32 cores of RAM. So it looks like Luke Miani was correct and Mark Kerman was wrong, but that's not the end of the story. Apple just unveiled the M1 Max. The M1 Max is what Mark Kerman was describing. The M1 Max features up to 64 gigabytes of RAM, 32 cores GPU, and it's way more powerful and way bigger. This M1 Max is way more expensive too, but the mid encoders also enable more ProRes optimization than the M1 Pro, which also features new mid encoders, but not as good as the M1 Max. This performance from the M1 Max rivals the NVIDIA's 3080 Ti GPU performance, which is discrete GPU and spends almost 180 watts, while Apple only goes around for 30 watts, which is pretty, pretty, pretty mad. It's two times faster than the average discrete GPU on a laptop, and I couldn't be more, more happy for that. It also is more efficient than that, so it makes this GPU the most efficient and most powerful GPU ever to come on a laptop and enables a lot of stuff. Of course, you can go for the M1 Pro if you don't need a 64GB of RAM or the 32 GPU core option. So, in my opinion, if you are looking for the best amount bug for performance, go for the M1 Max without the, 30, the 64 GB of RAM option. That's too expensive, in my opinion. That's $400 jump and it's too expensive. So, go for the M1 Max with 32 GB of uni unified RAM with 1 TB storage because that's the base model storage. So in my opinion, the M1 Max M1 Pro are insane. But these two chips came in two new packages, the 14-inch MacBook Pro and the 16-inch MacBook Pro. These computers were completely redesigned with a new design. Looks like the 28 to 29 model from the MacBook Pro family. It's a little bit more rounded, 
than usually before, but it's squared off. It looks like the old MacBook Pros. This MacBook Pro is beautiful. The keyboard is now blacked before the keys, so the contrast is even higher. You can see more keys and better keys when it's dark with the lighting on the keyboard. Of course, it features new I.O., HDMI, three Thunderbolt 4 ports, SD card slot, new headphone jack, and finally, MagSafe 3 is back. So now you can charge with Thunderbolt 4 and MagSafe. MagSafe is 50% faster than the old MagSafe 2. <sighs> this is just incredible and I can't wait to see and use this computer. I of course ordered the 16-inch MacBook Pro with 32 GPU cores and 32 gigabytes of RAM. It costs me around $4,500 when trying to update from Eros. So I spent around 4,000 euros on this computer. This computer is just insane and I can't wait to test it out. I will get it next week. On the first day, I was able to pick it up after the event and I will get it the first day it chips. So 26th of October, if I'm not wrong. So next, next Tuesday. And I'm very excited for this computer and I can't wait to use it more and more and more and to test it out, give you a review and of course an unboxing on the first day when it gets here. So also these computers feature a ton of new features just like the battery life now is way way better. It's 21 hours for the 16 inch and 17 hours for the 14 inch. It also features fast charge which it charges the battery 50% in only 30 minutes which is just insane and this faster battery is because of a new brick it's a 140 watt brick it's just stupidly big and i can't wait to see how big it is and to show you on the unboxing of course the displays are also way way better we got the promotion pro display xdr display which is mini led and all of the leaks from ross young were correct so ross young is unbeatable congratulations ross young 100 track record let's see if the apple watches are bigger next year but these displays are just insane the same display and even better than the iPad Pro Mini LED and even better displays than the Pro Display XDR. So that display looks a little bit old and outdated right now because you pay $6,000 for the display that you can get now, a little bit smaller of course, but you can get a huge and very powerful laptop behind it. So I'm very excited. Of course, we got the notch. I'm not bothered by it like I told you in the last video. So if you are excited for this computer, drop a like down below. Of course, this display will be the best part of this computer together with the performance, new I.O., new design and beautiful, beautiful premium construction. So I can't wait to get this MacBook Pro. I spent and went all out for my next computer for the next 10 years. And what was the product were you more excited? The M1 Pro and Max MacBook Pros or the AirPods 3? Which products are you getting? Which computers did you get or pre-order or were you able to pre-order any computer? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're there, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. This was Texumer talking to you here. Bye.